Today I'm glazing this sash and we all know about metal glazing points. There's a half a dozen different kinds or more. Some of them we hate to love and some of them we love to hate. And a couple of people over the years have asked me what could be done instead of glazing, instead of metal glazing points? Um, because I've seen them rust and uh, the uh, putty fails right around them. So one time, uh, a few years back, I was up on a project in uh, New Brunswick, Canada. And I found that the glass had wooden points. So these are a, a, a product, actually, that's called wooden shoe pegs. And uh, they're, they were used throughout the 19th century and even into the 20th century for making shoes, for fastening the soles onto shoes, wooden shoe pegs. And amazingly enough, they're still made. Uh, if you want to get some, you can go to uh, Etsy or eBay and buy wooden shoe pegs. Uh, so what we found in New Brunswick was that the glass was held into the window sash with wooden shoe pegs. They're made out of maple, and they're just about one sixteenth of an inch across and you can get them different sizes but this one sixteenth inch size is what we found and I managed to latch onto some myself so you use them just like a regular uh, point They're made out of hard maple, so uh, they're sturdy enough to just tap right in with your uh, laser's hammer or a big heavy chisel. And then, what I find works especially well is to use a pair of diagonal cutters, and you can just clip it off. So it's sticking out just the right amount. Wooden shoe pegs. All right, and because it's wood, one of the things I always do is, just like with my wooden pegs, when I'm pegging uh, mortise and tendon joints, I put a little drop of uh, boiled linseed oil. So I think that's a good treatment for these wooden shoe pegs as well, just so that the wood of that shoe peg, and especially that end grain, doesn't suck oil out of the putty and uh, cause it to fail. So just a little drop of, of boiled linseed oil right on there. Wooden shoe pegs, too much. 